power increase. Power increase is ridiculous. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. But I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. <laughs> I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low admo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, it's designed sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick. So that's why you need a good pilot. Good deal. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the good work. Yes, okay. Commander. That was unexpected, but okay. Not gonna discriminate. I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker. Port, uh, St. James, you're a tool talk to you anyway. Hey, Shepard. <clears throat> How'd it go with the council? <clears throat> Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Paladin. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> down here for a reason it's my ship I go where I want and talk to whoever I want fair enough 
Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. <laughs> okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <coughs> was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector yeah, attack. Get away from the renegade stuff. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. You a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So? Maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. I Any got a time. good amount of uh, hey. Paragon points there. Thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco, huh? I can think of worse things to call you. As long as you remember who's in charge, you can call me whatever you want. Oh, I won't forget. Good. Looking around. Good dog. Banked off, whatever. No big deal. Oh, I forgot what that said. The fortification available. Okay. So, you can see that where the fortifications 